Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Now, the reason I cited the beginning is because this story that I'm about to tell is actually in regards to silver. My, as of right now, it's complicated kind of situation is kind of where I, we stand. It's, we're not boyfriend-girlfriend. But we're not completely out of touch, I guess. And I know this is this that statement is going to hurt quite a, a couple of people um, out there if they see this video. But the amount of care that I present towards people has an impact on others that sometimes I don't intentionally make happen. Speaking of unintentional actions, the story I'm going to tell can be considered a story of me cheating. Is it? No. Can it be considered that? Yes. But there is one detail reason why it's not. Either way, this story starts back in October, early October of 2019. I was visiting Silver at her current job, and she was busy, and I was talking to someone who was a co-worker of hers who was going to remain nameless for the time being. Um, due to this, I'm going to give the person the name Jane. As in Jane Doe. You know, because it suits the idea. That being said... Jane considered herself a sister to Silver, even though Silver didn't feel the same way the other way around. Silver introduced me to Jane on July on the Independence Day or July 4th. Independence Day for the USA, July 4th, otherwise, um, of that same year. And I was trying to get in a relationship with Silver at the time because she had just come out of the flow of you know, the, 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 the certain circumstances that I'm not going to get too into. Um, but, and the idea was set in stone. It was wanted verbally between her and I. But I told this to Jane, and it was completely neglected. Not even the idea of in the process was there. It was just completely neglected, which hurt me. Now, maybe Silver just wasn't ready at the time, which is fine. But here's the detail that makes me question that. This was on October 7th. Jane, no, this was like October 5th. Jane said she wanted a chance, and I was like, well, when are we going on a date? October on October 7th, we're messaging each other, and that's what we say. That same day, Silver messages me and says, I, Okay, you know what? I'm done. Let's do this. I'm like, uh, now you say this. And these aren't the exact details. This is actually kind of a jumbled version of what actually happened. The actual details are more like she... Like the guy that she was with prior, which she was done with him entirely. She just wanted to get as far away from that as possible. And she was ready to be with me, except at the same time... She did not tell me that yet, but I told her first that I wanted to give Jane a chance, which hurt Silver, and to this day I s still regret the fact that I even gave Jane a chance, because honestly, it didn't go well. This is why I consider it not cheating, is because officially I was not in a relationship at the time, and I was trying to keep myself from getting hurt, 
after being hurt several times prior to this by individuals that have never been mentioned on this channel, from my recollection. The date did not go so well between Jane and I. I'm not going to go in detail about it. It's kind of irrelevant, really. But I guess... I keep thinking about the recent events. And as I said at the beginning of this video, Silver and I are on the kind of it's complicated um, stage of things at the moment. But the more I think about it, the more I feel like I kind of deserved what I got. And the fact that Silver was willing to, you know, get back on the boat, even after everything that's happened, because I haven't said everything that's happened. Neither, honestly, am I willing to. Not yet. At this point, I've gotten to the point where I'm just willing to push forward and see what happens. I... And this is going to hurt a couple of people, I know this. And I don't like it because I don't like hurting people, but... I guess this is another reason to call me Nostalgic Dave, because I have a hard time letting go of nostalgic reality. And this nostalgic reality is that Silver, Silver and I do work well together as a couple. But I think because of these events, that one plus another couple, too, that really kind of damaged her mind into thinking, into retracting, going, you know what, we're better as like brother and sister. And then things just got complex because that's not directly what she has claimed she wanted. And it's gotten to the point where, like, when we agreed to try to rebuild something, and this is why I'm saying that this is going to hurt the individuals. She and I inevitably agreed to rebuild the relationship that we hold. And uh, that we had. Rebuild the relationship we had. Erase the past. Forget any ideas that happened in the past and start, a fr start anew. I'm not going to say the details on how this happened, but... I I feel like the events that have taken place in the past year and a half what happened as of this video about a month ago the um, breakup that Silver did on me plus her cheating on me I the more I think of the past and the events that happened between the year that she and I were together and a little bit before that as well, the more I feel like I actually did deserve that. When it happened in the moment, I was so hurt that I didn't consider all these details. But now that I'm thinking about it, the fact that Silver and I are at the point where where we're actually trying to rebuild what we had. I don't I don't know if I deserve it. I'm grateful for the fact that she and I are doing that, but I don't know if I deserve it. And again, the people who this will hurt, I'm pretty sure they'll agree with the idea that I don't, but depends on how pacifistic they are. Whether this works out or not, I don't know. Give it another year and a half and I'll know for certain. 
by that time though I'm pretty sure everything that's meant to be whatever it ends up being will be set in stone but that's one thing that I've always believed. I've always believed something has been pre-planned in regards to how it was done really depends on the belief of the viewer, I think. And my own belief, but I'm not going into that. Because I'm not going to offend everybody on that front. But I do believe whatever. I, one thing I do believe that I'm willing to say is I believe this kind of thing was pre planned, it was foretold. How long ago? I have no idea, but I do believe it was foretold before I existed on this planet. What's going to happen, I have no idea, but I do believe one thing for sure. It'll inevitably turn out for the better, regardless of how it happens. Either way, I'm going to stop rambling. That's pretty much the story up until this point, plus a little bit of added details. I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, do you guys think what is being developed right now is going to work out for the better, regardless of whether it ends up meeting? Because I should probably point out one last thing. A promise I did make to Silver is that if it doesn't work out this time around, that I would be willing for certain to be like siblings of her, which is one thing that got discussed kind of in a mix. I'm not going to say who said it, who suggested it, or whatever, but because knowing me, it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise anyone who knows me. It wouldn't surprise anybody who knows me if I were to say it was me. Either way, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that it's a good idea to try to rebuild this kind of thing and then just go from there, see what happens? Um, do you guys think it's a bad idea? Um, I do genuinely want to know. I feel like right now in my heart that I'm making the right choice to do this. Just to benefit whatever happens. If it ends up being like siblings, at least it'll be, it, 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 the result will ex at least happen in a more calming manner. If it ends up being in a legitimate relationship in the long run, then, well, for me and for Silver, at least that would be for the better. Also, I know I'm making this particular expression a lot that happens when I'm deep into this kind of thought process. But, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I really do want to know. I, 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 at this point, I am open to outward opinion. I consider all 102 subs, as of this point, it's 102. I consider all of them like family to me. And I do trust all of you. So, if you guys could give me your opinion on the matter, I... I'll definitely consider that. Anyway, I'm going to head off. I have a much more upbeat that I still need, a video that I still need to do. Um, but this is something that I'm going to be considering for some time, for at least the next year and a half. Because the agreement that was made was we have to at least give a relationship another year's try. And if things change from there, we'll see. But I don't know. I'm going to head off. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope to see you guys in another probably more discussion ranty type of video instead. But for right now, I'm going to head off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in another video. Bye for now.